BattleBots Champions 2 is coming up October 5th, and everybody's wondering, who are the bots that are going to be a part of this brand new show? Well, we have three 100% confirmed names, and those, of course, came to us from the original announcement post by BattleBots themselves, and that is in-game Sawblaze and Tantrum, all three of them former Giant Nut winners, and of course, in-game being the previous Golden Bolt champion. But who are the other bots that are going to be a part of the Slugfest to try and earn a spot in that Golden Bolt tournament? Well, I have 14 names for you guys, and if you know more, please comment them down below. Here are the 14 I have. Rotator, Teratops, Black Dragon, Blip, Mammoth, Free Shipping, Jackpot, Big Dill, Monsoon, Gruff, Fusion, Scorpios, Malice, and Hypershock. If you know more, please comment them down below. And I might pin the comment that has the most confirmed bot names. All right. And now on to the second part of this video, and that is where I'm going to be talking about the prediction challenge that I'm going to be hosting here on this channel for Champions 2. And there's a little bit of a difference from the previous prediction challenge that I hosted for World Championship 7. And uh, one of the big differences is, of course, that I'm going to have a prize for the winner. So, you know, if you were a part of the last prediction challenge, you basically just got bragging rights for, for winning. But this time, I actually do have a prize for the winner. Uh, but the format also is going to be different because we're not going to have fight cards like we do with the regular season of BattleBots. This is actually going to be miniature, like, tournaments leading up to the big Golden Bolt tournament. So... Because it's in tournament style, we won't be able to just predict each bot that we think will win each fight. Uh, it, you know, because everybody is a single elimination, so it's not going to work that way. So instead, in order to make it a little bit easier, we're going to do that you have to predict the two uh, bots that you think will be in the final fight of each Slugfest episode. And then you will also predict the winner of that final fight, so the winner of the episode. And then how they won. So you'll predict whether they got a KO, a split decision, or a unanimous decision. And of course, TKOs count as KOs. And then, uh, you know, the appeal process, if the appeal process is a part of this show, it, it'll be the final appeal decision at the end that will count. So, yeah, so th that's, that's what you'll be commenting down below is the two bots you think will make it to the final of the episode. Uh, the winner of that episode, and then how they won. The points are going to be broken down like this. You will get a point for each bot you get correct in the final, which, of course, would just be two bots. Uh, so one bot, one point per bot. Then you'll get two points if you predict the winner of that final match of that episode correctly. So if you predict that correctly, you get two points. And then you also can earn a point if you predict how the winner wins through the, you know, whether it's a knockout, a judge's decision, a unanimous decision, or a split decision. Um, but notice I did not say that you have to get the champion of that episode correct in order to get the point for how they won. So let's say, for example, Tombstone, who is not going to be a part of this show, but let's just say, you know, you predict Tombstone just in a, you know, uh, as an example. You predict to Tombstone to win. But you also predicted Tombstone to win uh, as, by knockout. Well, let's say a different person, a different bot, ends up winning by knockout. You would still get that point for the knockout prediction, even though you didn't get, you know, Tombstone correct in the final. So does that make sense? Anyway, basically what I'm trying to do is make sure that everybody has as much opportunity to earn a point uh, for each episode. So that's just kind of a way that I'm doing it. Uh, so, yeah, uh, a total of five points per episode can be awarded to somebody. Uh, and, of course, by the end of this series, because it is six episodes long, you will have a total of 30 points that you can accumulate. But, I, honestly, I'm not expecting anybody to get 30. If anybody gets 30, uh, they probably deserve more than just one prize. <laughs> uh, I Honestly, I probably will only get, like, one or two points per episode. But anyway, if you have questions about that breakdown, let me know in the comments below. And of course, comment down below any bots that I missed on my list of bots that are going to be a part of the show. All right. With that all being said, thanks guys for hanging out. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I know this was a little bit of a longer video and I'll see you in the next one.